Hey guys, welcome to CR NT Designers. This is Chetan, and this is the Blender Beginner Modeling Tutorial Series. In this tutorial series, we will try to model simple objects with subdivision workflow. Shift A, Mesh, Add Cylinder, and then I'm going to rotate the cylinder into 90 degree. Then turn on this wireframe mode and you can turn on this static sticks also. Then go to the edit mode, select these words and right click connect vertex pair. Then select these faces and then delete them. Select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Then select these faces and E to extrude it and move it along the x-axis then S, X and give the value 0 select everything before that go to the object mode Control A apply the rotation then go to the edit mode select everything mesh and symmetry right. take the symmetry then shift D to duplicate it press M and make a new collection and give it name backup And just hide that collection. Go to the edit mode, add a center loop cut with Ctrl R and then Ctrl B add bevel on it. Add a two segment bevel and give the proper bevel width 0.5. And select this each loops and Ctrl B add bevel on them. And here give the bevel width 0.15. Then deselect these faces and delete these faces select this center edge loop and dissolve it select this edges and press F to fill the gap then select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap select this edge loop press F to fill the gap now turn on the extreme mode select these faces and delete them now we got this part at here then hit the control 2 to add the sub modifier and now we need to create right topology for it to maintain the form and check this option so we can see the object in edit more properly go to the front view use the knife tool and create cuts like this press C and X to create this cut C and X and C and Z then select this edge loop and dissolve it then select everything mesh and symmetry take the symmetry turn on the extra mode select these faces and delete them now we got only this much part here then go to the select and sharp edges it will select the sharper edges select this connected edges then go to the object mode and apply the scale go to the edit mode and then control B add bevel on it shape factor should be 1 segment should be 2 and give the proper bevel width and you will get this kind of loop structure to maintain that form you can add one loop cut out here then select this words and then press J to connect them then select this edges and control X to dissolve them select this words press J to connect them Select these edges and Ctrl X to dissolve them. Then select these edge loops and then dissolve this edge loop. Same thing here also. Select these words and then press J to connect them. Select these edges and dissolve them. Select these edge loops and Ctrl X to dissolve them. Like this, you can get this kind of loop structure. Then add center loop cut here. And you can select these words and press M merge at the center. And then dissolve this edge loop. You can dissolve this edge also. Now we can take the symmetry. Go to the edit mode, select everything. Mesh, symmetry, take the symmetry along the x axis. Then take the symmetry along the y axis. And there you go. In this way, you can create this kind of simple looking design. Shades molded. You can change the viewport shading to the matte cap and the cavity so you can see the details.
So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.